I want your thoughts, Ricky, on a more serious note about uh, your sense of the Indian team's performance building up to these quarterfinals. Uh, they have they've been a bit scratchy and not very impressive. They were touted as the favourites, haven't done much to live up to that billing. Lots of chinks being exposed. What do you make of India's performance so far? Oh, look, I think they've played, they played reasonably well so far. I don't think they'll be that disappointed with where they are in the tournament or what, what they've done so far. Um, they've been a little bit sloppy at the end of their bowling innings, um, sorry, end of their batting innings a couple of times. Uh, that can happen when you, you, um, when you get off to some of the great starts that they've got off to. So, um, as I said, we've, we've had a really good look at what they've done in the tournament so far. We've identified their, who we think are their key players and, and what, we need to, um, what we need to do to play well against their key players. Uh, we need to put them under pressure right from the start. As simple as that. Um, you know they are a good team. They'll play their conditions well. They'll have great support from their fans here, I'm sure. And uh, if anything, we need to make sure that that we keep the fans quiet and they haven't got too much to cheer about. Okay. Any specific strategy that you have for such My question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go, go, Dada, go on, please. You know, I have a question to Ricky, and uh, which I've uh, which I've noticed while watching them play in the World Cup. Uh, you know, they've really looked a little bit defensive against the spinners. You know, we've seen the Australians in the past, Gil, Chris, Hayden and Ricky himself, were a lot more attacking uh, when they played the spinners all around the world. And, and we saw that in the World Cup final in 2003. Uh, does he feel it's an area of worry for him, where, he's big, where he, his team has big, looked very defensive against the spinners and, and not the Australian mentality which we have seen before? Uh, we probably have been a little bit more defensive when the spinners have opened the bowling. Uh, if you look at the start of the Zimbabwe game, um, I thought Ray Price did a good job there. Then you look at the start of the Pakistan game the other day, I thought Raymond did a good job for them opening the bowling to, to our two right-handed batters. So um, we've got a certain plan and style of how we want to play. Um, you know, we want to build momentum up through the innings. We want to have wickets in hand towards the end to capitalise on power play overs and, and the ball changes and that sort of thing. Um, but at the same time, we won't be doing that this week. It's a, it's a do or die game for us. Uh, all the guys have to believe in what they can do, whether it be against fast bowling or spin bowling. And we've, we've just spoken to all the guys this morning about playing with as much freedom as possible in this game. So if that means if, if India are open with their two fast bowlers, all well and good. If they choose to open with spin, then I think, well, I know you're going to see a much different approach from our guys in this game than what you've seen in the tournament so far. And do you feel will the toss be crucial that day in Ahmedabad, or uh, it's still going to be a uh, it's going to be a hundred overs game? I think it's going to be a hundred overs game, but I, you know it's always nice to win the toss, as you know. Um, the first game that we played here in the tournament was against Zimbabwe in this ground. Uh, the wicket held together pretty well, um, batting second for them. Um, you know we won the game pretty easily, but it was a, a slower paced wicket with not a great deal of bounce that probably turned a fraction more at at night than what it did in the in the daytime. Um, there could be some dew around here. Our coach is going to go down to the grounds uh, late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night just to get a bit of a feel if there's any dew around, which, as you know, if there is some dew around, then it makes batting second that little bit easier. So, um, yeah, I think we know what to expect uh, with the conditions um, and we just have to uh, adjust and adapt and play the best that we can in whatever conditions we get.